Look at this cat. Oh, so um, I'm basically doing this this weird thing that I've discovered. I've gotcha. I've gotcha. Yeah, I've gotcha. That's my boy. That's my boy right there. So today I'm doing something a little weird. It's uh, it's not a tier list. It's not like your traditional tier list. This is the uh, the hottest actresses bracket. Um, a friend of mine actually brought this to my attention and was like, hey, you should do one of these. And I was like, what is that? It looked like a lot of work. So I was like, ah, whatever. But then I looked at it. And it's actually it's actually not a lot of work. It's pretty simple, actually. Basically, you just like uh, choose which of these women is more attractive than the other. And it ranks them in this big tournament uh, style thing that's happening. Um, yeah. So let's just do it, shall we? Let's just see what happens. Yes, I feel I feel kind of terrible ranking women, but at the same time, it's not like any of them are gonna see this. So I'm just gonna have fun with it. Okay, first one, Kirsten Dunst versus Margot Robbie. Um, this isn't really the best picture of Margot Robbie, but it's gonna have to be Margot Robbie, I'm sorry. Um, Kate Winslet versus someone I don't know. Someone I don't know who I think is super cute. But Kate Winslet, I mean, if we're going by like Titanic Kate Winslet, Titanic Kate Winslet would definitely be the winner here. Like what time frame are we talking? Are we talking like modern? Do they all have to be in the modern era or can some of them be like their, their past selves? I mean, yeah, if we're talking Titanic era Kate Winslet, that's a, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Um, all right, she is absolutely adorable, but I'm gonna have to go with Titanic era Kate Winslet. She's just like classically attractive. Um, Xander's over here licking himself. Jeez, this guy, he's just a shameless little little orange goon over here. Shameless little, little orange man. It's like I'm over here looking at women and he's just like, I'm gonna start licking myself. And it's like, have some decency, man. Have some decency. Uh, okay. I don't know who Lily Reinhardt is, but she is hot. She is hot. Wow. She is like super hot. Megan Fox has never done anything for me. So Elisha Cuth, Elisha, Elith, Elitha Cuthbert, Elitha, Cuth, Elitha Cuthbert versus Emma Stone. Well, I'll tell you something, daddy. Emma Stone is just a stunning redhead. I got to give this one to the stunning redhead daddy you can't beat that yeah i'm seriously though emma stone is like ludicrously sexy and this is an incredible picture of her so alicia cuthbert though i mean she was amazing in her time you know in the 24 and everything isla fisher lea sedu lea sedu is very uh, very feminine very feminine lady isla fisher gorgeous stunning redhead on the other hand, she has done it with Sasha Baron Cohen, and that takes a couple points off. But I'm gonna have to go with Isla Fisher. And we are what, like a 50th of the way through this thing? I better speed it up. Kat Dennings versus, I don't know who that is, but Kat Dennings. Kate Blanchett versus Kaylee Cuoco. Kaylee Cuoco is, um, <clears throat> she's in the Big Bang Theory. I actually know who that is. Um, one of my ex-girlfriends, uh, funny quick story one of my ex-girlfriends uh, she, she found like this this poster in like Maxim magazine or something and it was all pictures of Kaylee Cuoco wearing jean shorts doing different poses in these jean shorts it was like eight different pictures and uh, this particular girlfriend of mine she showed me the pictures and she was like which one of these poses do you like the most and she's like wait wait let me guess let me guess so it's like I looked at it and decided which poses I liked the most, like which poses I thought were the sexiest. And then she guessed like the two sexiest poses out of these 10 or so poses. And she actually guessed correctly. She guessed which two poses I liked the most, which was really impressive. Um, although she herself looked really good in jean shorts. So, you know, I don't know. Kaylee Cuoco, winner. Mila Kunis versus Kate Mara. Kate Mara has always kind of given me the creeps for some reason. Like, I feel like she's a, I don't know. Is this, uh, and I don't want to say, I don't want to say anything, I don't want to say anything too mean here, but I mean, Mila Kunis 
Come on. Come on. Come on. Mila Kunis. Come on. Natalie Dormer versus... I don't even have to look at the other person. It's Natalie Dormer. Anna de Armas. I don't even have to look at the other person. It's Oh, it's Selma Hayek. Wow. This is like Goku versus Vegeta in round one right here. Um, huh, whew, ah, uh, um, Anna de Armas. Selma Hayek, though, has the most beautiful breasts I've ever seen in my life. But I'm going to have to go with Anna de Armas. Sorry. That was that was like not a fair matchup. Those, those two should not have been in the same bracket. Who did the brackets for this anyway? Who who did these brackets? It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Maisie Williams, who also looks a lot like a friend of mine named Jenna, who's constantly hearing about how she looks like Maisie Williams, versus Zendaya. Mm. Zendaya. Zendaya kind of does it for me a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I think she does it for everyone, though. Uh, I'm going to go with Maisie Williams, though. Yeah. There's something just deeply expressive about Maisie Williams that Zendaya doesn't have. So, Don't know who that is. She looks super familiar, though. I know I've seen her in something. Versus Ashley Benson, who uh, was in Spring Breakers. And this is a great picture of her. So, yeah. Okay. Alex Morgan from the women's soccer team versus Rachel McAdams, who a friend of mine has never liked for some reason. He said there's just something about her he doesn't like. Matter of fact, he's he's watching this right now. So he can tell me, like, what is your problem with her? You leave her alone. No, I'm just kidding. I don't like her either. Uh, Alex Morgan. Okay. Don't know who that is. Don't know who that is, but she was in Star Trek. Which goes a long way, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Uh, don't know who that is. Don't know who that is. I guess going by these two pictures, this is a more artistic picture. <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence. Oh, my God. In a red dress. Oh, boy. We have Amanda Seyfried, though. Amanda Seyfried, who looks like uh, one of my exes. Well, kind of. She looks a lot like one of my exes. My ex, who looks like Drew Barrymore. Also kind of looks like Amanda Seyfried. She's like a hybrid of Amanda Seyfried and Drew Barrymore. If they did the uh, fusion dance, they'd be this particular ex. Uh, but that doesn't mean I'm going to cut her any favoritism. It's going to be Jennifer Lawrence on this one. Yes. Amy Adams versus Anna Kendrick. Anna Kendrick. Whatever, man. Don't know who that is, but she kind of looks like Jamie Hayter a little bit. Florence Pugh. Okay. <laughs> I hope I'm saying that right. Florence Poe. I don't know. Haley Atwell. I mean, I'm wearing a Captain America shirt, so, I mean, clearly I like the superheroes. Uh, Brie Larson, I don't like. I don't like Captain Marvel. Not a fan. I'm also not a sexist anymore. Evangeline Lilly versus someone I don't know. Okay. You know, isn't she in the Marvel now, too? Ellie Fanning. I don't know who that is. Uh, all right, lightning round. We're going to speed this up. Deborah Ann, well, she's in True Blood. She's super hot. But that's a better picture. Gal Gadot. Gal Gadot. Uh, Gal Gadot. Oh, that's like a tie. That's a tie. Elizabeth Olsen. Honorable mention for Elizabeth Olsen because that's a tie right there. Eva Green. Oh, man. The villain in the 300 sequel that no one watched. She was so hot in that movie. Like, unbelievably. Mm, chef's kiss. Oh, my God. I would do things. I would do things. I mean, she did things in that movie. Yes. Um, Blake Lively versus Demi Lovato. Um, uh, uh, I guess this. I guess that one. Okay. Uh, Charlize Theron versus Bryce Dallas Howard. Bryce Dallas Howard. <clears throat> Karen Gillian versus, An oh, okay. I like both of them, but yeah. Angelina Jolie versus Rihanna. Uh, damn, I mean, Angelina Jolie back in her day was like uh, like the next, the next best thing to Madonna, basically. Just stunning. But I got to go with Rihanna. Okay. 
Margot Robbie versus... Oh, we're in, we're in round two now. What about the rest of round one, though? All right, well, whatever, round two. Margot Robbie versus Kate Winslet. Even prime Kate Winslet, I don't think, can best Margot Robbie. Lily Reinhardt. Yes. Sorry, Lizzie Kaplan. You're gorgeous. Uh, uh, eh, uh, that's a tough one, but, you know. Emma Stone. Oh, man, this is a tough one. Ah, uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. Oh, man, I don't know. This is really tough. It's a fun, it's a fun exercise, though. It's like a challenge, you know? <sighs> I don't know. Jeez. Oh, man. How, how could I possibly, like, make this decision? I mean, huh. We're going to have to, we're going to have to compare them on something besides these two pictures because both of these two pictures are just, like, godly pictures. Um, oof. My goodness, my goodness. You know, the fact that Sasha Baron Cohen has been inside of Isla Fisher, it's going to take a point off. You know, Emma Stone, 100, 100 out of 100. Famitsu rating, 40-40. Isla Fisher, you know, 100 out of 100. Famitsu rating, 39 out of 40. Because Sasha Baron Cohen has been inside of her. What a shame. Kat Dennings versus Kaylee Cuoco. All right, even though, all right, even though Kaylee Cuoco did that jean shorts thing, uh, I'll go with Kat Dennings. Mila Kunis versus, oh no, another really tough one. Oh uh, God. This is like asking me to choose a favorite child. Um, uh, I'm going to have to go, uh, Mila Kunis is really cool, and she's got a really cool voice. I love her voice. Um, Natalie Dormer is just, like, exquisite, but she doesn't, she doesn't seem as warm to me. Like, Mila Kunis is very warm. Natalie Dor Dormer is... I guess what I'm saying is I think that if I, if I were to meet either one of these women, I'm, I'm fairly... 100% certain that Natalie Dorman <laughs> I'm I'm fairly 100% certain that Natalie Dormer would reject me like no doubt she would reject me Mila Kunis I'm not entirely sure would reject me I think there's actually a small possibility that like if I were her waiter or something that she might slip me her number it's possible if I was really well dressed that day and had like my hair combed and everything I think, uh, I think Mila Kunis could uh, possibly give me her number. Natalie Dormer would not want anything to do with me. Matter of fact, she would completely avoid eye contact. I'm going to have to go with Mila Kunis. It was a tough one, though. Anna de Armas versus Macy. Oh, you know, I love you, Macy. You're just, the, you're just the coolest person. But look at this woman. Look at her. Just look at her. Um, Ashley Benson versus Alex Morgan. Shoot, this is tough. This is tough. Um, she's like cute and everything, but she is like athletic, you know, like, like her and I, we could, we could like train Kung Fu together. You know what I mean? I'm going to go with her. Uh, don't know either of them. I feel like this match already happened, but I don't know. That's a better picture. Uh, Jennifer Lawrence versus Anna Kendrick. Jennifer Lawrence. Just because that picture, this dress, this red dress, amazing. Florence, my favorite Russian. Well, my second favorite Russian. Uh, Lauren Colhan versus Evangeline Lilly. Um, ooh. Ooh. Uh, shoot. Uh, uh. All right, whatever. True Blood, thank you. Gal Gadot, oh man, another really tough one. She is Eva Green. She is just absolutely exquisite. Gal Gadot though is like basically perfect. She's like the nicest person and she was in the Israeli Special Forces. So I could definitely practice Kung Fu with her. You know, we could throw down as a matter of fact. Gal Gadot and I could absolutely throw down like no no holds barred kind of throw down and 
I mean, that's pretty rare to have like a significant other that you can throw down with. Not that Gal Gadot would ever be my significant other for any reason. Um, but, uh, I mean, I mean, I don't know. I shouldn't be so hard on myself. You know, I mean, hypothetically, if I were Gal Gadot's waiter and I was like really well, okay, I'm not going to do that again. We're going to go with Gal Gadot. All right. Final answer. Blake Lively versus Bryce L. Howard. Eh, neither one of these two are going to get past the next round, I don't think, but, uh, we'll go with that. Uh, Karen versus Rihanna. Oh, that's a tough one. I like Doctor Who. I like Doctor Who and I think she's really great, but I got to go with Rihanna. Okay, Margot Robbie versus Lily Reinhardt. I don't know who Lily Reinhardt is, but she is stunningly fucking sexy as hell. Boom. Which means we're not going to get Margot Robbie versus Margot Robbie 2, which is Samara Weaving. Well, we wouldn't have anyway because Emma Stone wins. Boom. Done. Mila Kunis. Easy. Anna de Armas. Easy. Jennifer Lawrence. Easy. Florence Pugh. Easy. Uh, Rihanna. 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 She's like, I don't know. She's just so, uh, she's so like statuesque and, and regal. You know what I mean? Oh boy. Here we go. Now we're in the tough round. This is it. This is the tough part. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Sucking my thumb right now. Uh, Lily Reinhardt, Emma Stone. Oh, God. Ah. Oh, my God. I mean, I find both of them stunningly attractive. Stunningly attractive. But I don't really know who she is, so I'm going to go with Emma Stone. But that was close. Mila Kunis versus Anna de Arm. Oh, man. Mm. Oh, my God. I can't do this. This is too much. This is too much for me. I, um... Wait a minute. Where's Monica Bellucci on this list? Monica Bellucci should totally be on here somewhere. I, I don't think I see her, though. This is nearly impossible. But I'm going to go with Mila Kunis just because I think that she would be more likely to slip me her number if I were her waiter. That That's that's it. Mila Kunis. Jennifer Lawrence versus... Okay. Boom. Boom. Sorry. Sorry, Jennifer. Devin Amal versus Rihanna. I mean, this is a toss-up. Flip a coin. Either one of them. Um, Rihanna. Emma Stone versus Mila Kunis. Okay. Championship round here. Um, Emma Stone. Emma Stone wins. I think Emma Stone might also slip me her number if I were her waiter. So Mila Kunis' main advantage was actually negated on that matchup. Florence Pugh versus Rihanna. You know, I think Rihanna's going to taste defeat on this one. All right. Emma Stone versus... Oh, boy. <clears throat> mm. I don't know. I don't know. This is... This is too much. This is too much for me. I'm going to go with Emma Stone, though. Man, I had no idea I liked Emma Stone this much until today. I really... Like, I would have never thought that Emma Stone would be, like, the winner well, we still got the other side of the of the thing, the other side of the bracket. I know my sports. Lawrence put up a very good fight, though. All right, now we're on the other side. I don't know why we didn't just do, like, round one and round one, but anyway. Jennifer Lawrence versus Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer Lopez versus her. Interesting eyes, beautiful breasts. Uh, absolutely, you know, magnificent. Magnifique. Magnifique. Uh, but Jennifer Lopez is uh, a classic. So Jenna Coleman, another Doctor Who uh, character, another Doctor Who uh, companion, if you will, versus Taylor Swift. Yeah, no. Bye. Bye, Taylor. Get out of here. Get out. Kristen Bell. 
someone I don't know who looks like she's about 12. 12 with like a breast enhancement, perhaps. I don't know. I, 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 this picture is very strange. Like the proportions are very strange. It looks like Julia Hart from AEW. If like Julia Hart's head like got inflated. I don't know. Something weird's going on here. Uh, Rachel Weiss, Gillian, uh, Rachel Weiss. Olivia Wilde. Don't know who that is, but she is a winner. Selena Gomez. Aubrey Plaza. Well, she's the winner. Christina Hendricks, Kate Upton. I, I don't I don't know. But the one that was in Firefly. Don't know who that is. Oh wait, I do know who that is. She was in that show with Kiefer Sutherland. I like her. Kate Beckinsale. I think she's everyone's winner. Versus Scarlett Johansson. People don't know how exquisitely attractive Scarlett Johansson actually is, I don't think. Like, they've only seen her in, in the Marvel movies. I mean, Iron Man 2, she was quite exquisite. Um, but outside of that kind of Black Widow character, she is exquisitely attractive. If you watch, um, shoot, let me think. Watch Don John with Joseph Gordon-Levitt. She is so exquisite in that movie. I almost can't believe it. Uh, also, uh, Vicky Cristina Barcelona with Penelope Cruz. Uh, Scarlett Johansson is exquisitely attractive in that as well. And they have a threesome. Um, she is just tremendous. She's just a goddess, a goddess among women. Nicole Kidman versus Rosario Dawson. That's an easy one. Not a good picture, though. Don't know who that is. Don't know who that is. Don't know who that is. <laughs> ah, Firefly. Natalie Portman. Zoe Saldana. Uh, Jennifer Connelly. Jessica Chastain. I don't know. Who don't know. Looks good. Good, 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 good. Everyone here is good. Don't know her, don't know her. Reese wins. Wait, Reese, I do know her. Liv Tyler, Emily Blunt. Go ahead, Liv Tyler. Gwyneth Paltrow. Yes. Um. Yeah, we'll go with this one. Jessica Beale, Jessica Alba. Look at how fast I clicked. You see how fast I clicked? Marissa Tomei. More like Marissa Tobey. Don't know her. Don't know her. Do know her. Biblically. Uh, don't know her. Do know her. No. Yes. Yes. Alison Brie, Amelia Clark. Oh, Amelia Clark. I got to go with Amelia Clark. She is adorbs. Absolutely adorbs. Dakota Johnson. What's she doing here? She looks like so much like one of my exes. Mm. Yeah, I see my exes in a lot of things. Sometimes I see them in slices of bread making out with each other. No, 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 no. Ugh, gross. We're going with Dakota Johnson. Chloe Moretz. Daisy Ridley. Chloe, more going with that one. Um, don't know her, don't know her, don't know her, don't know her, don't know her. Those eyebrows, though. Jenna Coleman, please. Rachel Weiss, yes. Don't know who that is. Do know who that is. Uh, Nina, what a gorgeous lass. Oh boy, Rosario is out. Uh, don't know, don't know. These brackets are terrible, by the way. Absolutely terrible. Morena versus Zoe. This is this is an absolute toss-up right here. This is the first really challenging match on the uh, east side of the board. Totally. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say here. 
Zoe is just such a goddess. But I love Firefly and I love Inara. Mm, gotta go with Zoe though. Gotta do it. Don't know, don't know. Uh, yeah. Eh, again. I mean, I'm going through the motions with some of these. Gwyneth Paltrow, I think, can get it. Gwyneth Paltrow can definitely get it. Jessica Alba, you know, there's something about Jessica Alba. She's She's got it, whatever it is. Marissa Tomei, I think this is even a recent picture of her, and she's like in her 50s. And an absolute goddess. Absolute goddess. She could literally have anybody she wants on planet Earth in her 50s. Doesn't, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to go with Scully. Emmy Rossum. Yes, I'm going to go with Emmy Rossum for sure. Emilia Clark. Ooh, ooh, now nah, another tough one. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Uh, Amelia Clark. <sighs> Amelia Clark is just so cute. She's really cute. Dakota Johnson, though. Mm. Dakota Johnson's kind of my girl. You know, she's she's my girl. She's my girl. You gotta say. I mean, I think this whole thing is gonna come down to either Emma Stone, Dakota Johnson, or Scarlett Johansson. I'm just gonna, you know, spoiler alert. Two of those are on this side, though, so that's gonna be tough. Yeah, she's my girl. Dakota Johnson really looks like one of my exes. Amelia Clark looks a lot like my mom when she was young. Which should probably actually subtract points. I'm going to be like a dignified human being and subtract points for that. Which gives Dakota Johnson a slight edge. Boom. Chloe Moritz and someone I don't know who has a great photograph here. All right, Jenna Coleman, boom, redhead. Redheads are, you know, always the winner. Okay, this is a really tough one. This is a super, super tough one because, you know, Aubrey Plaza would just be, like, fun to have around, you know. But this isn't about who's the most fun. You know, this is, this is not a contest about who you'd rather have a beer with. Okay, this is serious. This is a serious choice. <sighs> Which one of these two women is the most gorgeous? It's a simple question. Which one's the most gorgeous? It's a simple question with a not so simple answer. I'm gonna go with Mrs. Nina. Sorry, Aubrey. Sorry, you fought well. You should have gone to at least, you know, the second to last round. Scarlett Johansson in a squash match. Absolute squash match. I'm very sorry. Very sorry to this other lady. Scarlett Johansson, winner. Zoe Saldana in a squash match. Winner. Winner. This one is tough. This one is very tough. She is very cute, but she's like a wooden actress. Gwyneth Paltrow is kind of like radiant. You know what I mean? I enjoy her. Um, Jessica Alba versus Mercy Tome. Oh, this is a clash. You know, Jessica Alba, I associate with like youth, and Marissa Tome, I associate with just being like, like, like aging like fine wine, you know, just becoming more and more elegant as time goes on. Marissa Tome. Gillian Anderson versus Emmy Rossum. I gotta go with Emmy. Gotta go with Bulma. Dakota Johnson versus the lady I don't know who has a very nice picture. Dakota Johnson wins okay Whew. even jenna coleman's red hair cannot save her from what was her name in uh, designated survivor ah yes jenna coleman's red hair cannot save her from emily rhodes from designated survivor she wins oh boy Ah. Uh. This is so, this is so tough. I mean, Scarlett's going to win, but I mean, Jesus. Talk about asking me to make choices. I, I can't decide this. Where's Xander? All right. Oh, here he is. What do you think, buddy? Which one? 
Come on, tell me. Should it be should it be Scarlett Johansson or Zoe? Which one? Which one do you like? Come on, tell me which one you like. See, he's gonna check it out. <laughs> hmm? Which one? Come on, you're a macho man. You're a macho man cat. Which one do you like? He's not sure. Oh, he went to the left. He went to the left of the computer. That means Scarlett Johansson is the winner. Marissa Tomei versus Gwyneth Paltrow. I gotta go with Marissa Tomei. Why are there so many Marvel actresses on this list? Okay, maybe because it's just like everyone has been in Marvel at this point. Uh, Emmy Rossum versus Dakota Johnson. Boom. Not a tough fight. No, this is a tough fight. Mm. Scarlett Johansson facing some tough opposition here. Oh, boy. Ah. Ah, my goodness. I would, I would absolutely eat my supper off of both of their clavicles. The clavicle is, is this bone right here, by the way. Um, mm, this is, this is tough. Oof. This is tough. I would suck both of their toes, actually. I, I would, I would suck toes. I would do it for, for both of them. You know, I, I, I don't normally suck toes. It never really crosses my mind. But in this case, hell yeah, I would suck toes. I'm going to have to go with Scott Johansson, but it's really tough. Like, really, really tough. Marissa told me versus Dakota Johnson. This is also really, really tough. Like, extremely tough. But I have to go with my girl, Dakota Johnson. Oh, and now we come to the toughest... The toughest of all. Mm. Dakota Johnson is my girl, but I think that Scarlett Johansson is more conventionally attractive. I think if I'm being fair, if I'm being fair and non-partial, Scarlett Johansson has to take this. She has to. It's a tough one, though. Really tough one. A lot's riding on this. I wish both of them were riding on me. Cut, cut that out, please. Cut that. Yeah, make sure, make sure we edit that part out. Yeah, that's that's not that's not okay. We're gonna edit that part out. All right, thank you. Um, whew. I, I'm gonna be the fair and impartial guy here. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna play favorites. Yeah. Uh, and here we are, the, the finals, the championship round. Um, I think Emma Stone is probably more likely to date me if we were to ever meet, if we would ever like be in the same circle and meet. I think I would have a better chance with Emma Stone. So she's more approachable, for sure. You know, that makes her very attractive, obviously. Um, but Scarlett Johansson just has the most banging body on the planet, just about. And uh, even though I don't think she would ever give me the time of day, I'm going to have to go with her. See, it's only fair. It's only fair. All right. Well, there you have Oh, that was loud. There you have it. My... Uh, my uh, whatever this was, this strange thing that I just did. Scarlett Johansson is officially the hottest woman out of all the women in this bracket. I think they left out a few uh, very notable admissions, though. A few very, very notable omissions, like uh, Monica Bellucci. Monica Bellucci absolutely should have been in there. Um, Zazie Beats. I would have put Zazie Beats in there. Zazie Beats is hot. Nobody seems to know who Zazie Beats is. She's really hot. Um, anyone else? Penelope Cruz. Penelope Cruz, who had a threesome with Scarlett Johansson in Vicky Cristina Barcelona. Where is Penelope Cruz? Well, we'll never know. 
But either way, Scarlett Johansson is my winner. That was kind of fun. I liked it. All right. I'll see you later.